Okay, thanks. Hi, everybody. How is everybody doing today on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon? I would love to know where are you guys from? Where Where is everybody here from? Can you guys write it into the chat box right here so I could just get a good, a good idea of where people are from and Virginia, awesome. Indy, where is Indy? Indianapolis, is that what it is? Montreal, Canada, nice. I love Montreal. I used to go there every single year. Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> um, GR, I don't know where GR is. Atlanta, Georgia, sweet. Where's GR, Willis? I don't know where that is. Grand Rapids, is that what it is? Mexico, oh, Grand Rapids, I was right. Jones, where in Mexico? Mexico is so big. <laughs> where in Mexico are you from? Or are you at right now? <laughs> Southern California, nice. Mazatlan, I've been to Mazatlan. Where in Southern California, Jeff? I used to live in San Diego many, many years ago. <laughs> And I've been to Mazatlan 20 years ago. Really interesting place. I went there from La Paz. We crossed over. San Luis Obispo. Oh, that's kind of central, I think, right? If I'm correct. Like uh, Orange County area, right? If I'm correct. Uh, yeah, I lived in San Diego. So I think that's more inland. I live more by the beach area. All right, guys. Well, I am excited to present for you all today. So I would actually really like to know, what do you guys trade? Because there's so many different traders out there, so many different interests. I would love to know, where, what do you guys trade? What is your thing? Crypto. So do you actually trade crypto or do you invest in crypto? Because trading crypto could be, I mean, investing in crypto is pretty crazy, right? <laughs> but trading crypto... It could be really bonkers. Stocks, ES, stocks and options. Currencies, I guess you mean by currencies as in Forex, you're looking at crypto. Okay, yeah, crypto could be a very tantalizing area of placing money, right? It feels like they're just printing money out there. Um, okay, well, we are gonna talk a little bit about today, pretty much understanding markets in general. So. Let's begin. I am Marina, the trader chick, and this is me right here. And what I want to cover in today's presentation is I want to talk a little bit about exactly what I asked, trading versus investing, because it is a very big difference. Uh, busting a lot of myths about day trading, because there are so many myths, which I like to also use. Uh, I like to think of them as limiting beliefs, right? And when we have limiting beliefs, we tend to make wrong decisions. So if we could bust those beliefs, we could probably, you know, get much further in our trading and investing. What to trade out there? Like I was asking, there's quite a lot of different things to trade. Trade day trading lingo so that you can, you know, navigate through what is actually going on. Understanding the brokers, commissions, platforms market movements, and understanding technical analysis and indicators, because they're, without them, you can't really do much trading, right? So before we begin, I want to just do a quick official intro and a little bit of fun fact time. I am Marina, the trader chick. I am an expat mama, and I live in Antigua, Guatemala. So this is my sons, and this is me on our scooter. I love, love, love my scooter. So I do live in Guatemala. And before I became a day trader, I was actually a fitness instructor and a travel writer. And the main reason I bring this up is because a lot of people believe that they have to be, you know, either coming from an economic background, a math background, a financial background, even some, you know, some people think just engineering. But on the contrary, that's the beauty of day trading is that you can literally do anything before you become a day trader. Trader, right? Like that's the greatest part about day trading. Also a quick fact about me is that I am a refugee from the Soviet Union. I moved to the United States over 40 years ago. So Russian is my mother tongue, right? But English, because I've been raised in the US, is my main language, as you could hear right now. And because I have now been living in Central America for almost 20 years, which is I lived in Costa Rica and now in Guatemala for almost 20 years. So I do speak Spanish fluently. And the main reason I bring this up 
is when you learn a, a language in your later years, not like when I learned English because I was tiny. So it just kind of happened. I think I was fluent within a couple of months, but Spanish, I ended up learning it with when I was like in my late twenties. And if anybody here has learned a new language, uh, a second language in their later years, you'll recognize that there is this process, right? There is this whole way of doing it, right? First, everything you say in your head, you have to first translate every single word. You have to get every single word out. The same thing when somebody responds, you have to process it, translate it. And it's this process. And on top of all that process is this massive commitment of practicing and practicing and practicing. But then what happens is something clicks. And one day you wake up and you simply speak the language, not necessarily 100% fluent, but you speak it. You don't have to go through this translation process and all of that. And I think because I had that background, when I started to learn how to day trade, how to read the markets, I struggled for years until I started to look at it in a way that it's a language. And when I began to listen to that language and really understand that language, it changed everything for me because the market it actually talks to us it literally talks to us and once you understand that you can trade much better a lot of people are not even understanding what is going on and they are just giving their money to the market and that's kind of sad so when i recognized that that's when i started to approach it completely differently and i and i just wanted to kind of a lot of people have learned a second language or even a third, right, in their later years. So once you can apply that, it, I can guarantee you will completely change everything. And the coolest thing about day trading, you can do it from anywhere, anywhere. I trade with one chart, two indicators, one laptop. I used to have three monitors, 10 indicators. I was nothing in paralysis analysis all the time. And I was featured, I used to do quite a lot of live events before COVID hit. I did money show traders expos. I did quite a few, but since COVID I've been kind of, you know, really enjoying being online more <laughs> and in the comfort of my own home. So before I jump in and really get into the presentation, I created a workshop for a workshop, a worksheet for you completely free that goes along with this presentation. So go here right now, making of a day trader.com making of a day trader.com go here and you will get the free presentation making of a day trader.com okay so one really important thing guys i am here for you i am here for you i don't want to just be another presentation the more interaction you have with me, if you have questions, if you don't understand something, I promise I will get to every single question and it will be much more of an experience for you, right? You'll really be able to understand everything so much better. So please ask away because my whole goal is that I could, that you can walk away with something that could really impact and take your trading and investing to the next level. Okay, so Cisco, what are those flags for those countries? I've never seen them before. Those flags are all of Central America. So I have been living in Central America for almost 20 years. I've traveled it extensively. I lived in Costa Rica and now I live in Guatemala, but I have traveled all of those areas. And Esteban, you were born in Chiapas. I've been to Chiapas actually quite a few times. I was there during, oh my gosh, uh, what was it, Comandante Fox? The whole thing with Chiapas, it was a crazy time. It's really beautiful. All right, guys. So did you get it? Making of a daytrader.com. And let's begin. To start, what in the world is day trading and why is it not investing? Yes, it was Marcos. Sorry, it was during President Fox, but it was Comandante Marcos. I remember that was 20 years ago. So, all right. So let's get into the presentation. What in the world is day trading? Why is it not investing? So here's the reality, guys. Unlike investing, day trading, you do not, do not want to diversify. Why is it that you do not want to diversify? Because here's the thing. Imagine your child coming up to you and saying, hey, mama, hey, papa, I want to learn how to play a musical instrument. And you say, great. Which one do you want to play? The P. What do you want to play? What do you want to learn? And they say to you, okay, I want to learn how to play the piano, the flute, the guitar, the drums. 
right? And you look at them and you're like, well, you first probably should learn one first and master it before you can move on to the next. People don't realize that when you're day trading, you're, it's actually instruments, right? You cannot trade, let's say, Forex and options and crypto at the same time. It is literally driving three different types of vehicles or playing three different kinds of instruments at the same time. Logically, do you think you're going to succeed in any of them? Not even remotely. So begin with, and if you could take just the one thing for me today, find your one that you really are interested in and go with that. And I'm going to actually really dive into them so you could understand a little bit more about that because that will completely change everything for you. The other thing is investors, they really care about companies they are investing to see them grow, right? If I'm going to invest in Apple, I really care what Apple, the iPhone 13 is going to be all about. But if I'm in day trading, I don't really care because I'm day trading right? Maybe on the day of the launch, but you're, but for day trading purposes, you don't normally even want to rely on that. You don't care if the market is going up or down during that day, because it's all about the ana technical analysis. Investors, you can stick it out if it's really going down, because if you believe in that company, but day trading, we don't care. We like to see ups or downs, right? We want, we can make money either way. Okay. Now, are you guys ready to bust these myths? and as I was calling them before, limited beliefs. First and foremost, day trading is gambling. I know that you probably have heard it. You probably even believe it a little bit. Why is it not gambling? Imagine this. If you sit down in a, a vehicle that you have never seen before, you have no idea how to even start the ignition, how to get it going, and somehow miraculously you did, are you really going to be able to maneuver it properly? No, you'll crash in seconds, right? So what are you going to come out saying? Oh my God, driving is so, it's gambling. No, it's not because we all know the process before we sit into a vehicle. We take classes, we learn what's going on. We know how to turn things on. We know how to turn it off. We know how to brake. We know how to accelerate. We know how to put on seatbelts, right? Our safety harnesses. It's amazing that people, the problem is to be honest with you, day trading is that or the financial markets is that anybody could go in and put their money into the market. And then they lose, they lose big because they have no idea what's going on. They never put in the effort to learning and then they call it gambling, right? Who's with me on this? That's not gambling, right? If you actually know what you're doing. If I sit in my car today, I know where everything is. I know how to drive, right? I'm not gambling with that anymore. It's the same thing for day trading. You need to understand what is going on. The other thing is you need to start with $25,000. Absolutely out of the question, no. If you want to do stocks with a margin account, and I'm going to get into margin accounts a little bit later, I call them loan sharking, you do not need $25,000. You can start with as little as $50, depending on the market you want to get in, to as much as you want, but you do not need that kind of money to get started, okay? So it's really important to remember that you don't need that kind of money. And as I mentioned before, you need to have a math, you need to be a math wizard or a financial background. Oh my goodness, numbers freak me out. I do not even look at numbers. As a matter of fact, I don't even know the prices. All I know is what technical analysis is telling me and what I am looking at right there and what I am actually trading and putting on the table. That's all you need to know. That is not being a math whiz or financial background. It's simply understanding technical analysis. Day trading could be super stressful and chaotic. Yeah, like I mentioned before, I started out with three monitors and I had 10 indicators, right? I was in constant analysis, paralysis. What you're looking at here, this is wrong. You do not need to do this. And to be honest with you, whoever is sitting in front of this kind of a desk, it is a, not a sustainable lifestyle. They will probably burn out within a year or two and most likely lose the majority of their money. You cannot do this physically. I don't know if any of you guys remember, there used to be a really great show called King of Queens. And it was this really funny comedy sitcom. And the main character bought himself a 96-inch screen TV. And at that point, it was direct TV or something like that. And there's him and all his buddies are sitting in this tiny little room, and they're switching channels every five seconds. And one of the guys is like, stop. You're going to trigger my epilepsy. Honestly, when I look at this mess, 
this is triggering so many things that are wrong. The chaos, the stress, epilepsy. This is not the way it needs to be. Trust me on that. And like I said about indicators, all of that, softwares, algorithms, people want to sell you all those things, but you do not need that. If you have a good charting software, one, you need to have a charting platform. You cannot be a Formula One driver if you're in a minivan, right? You need to have the proper vehicle for what you want to do. You do not need to pay for anything extra because you have the free universal indicators already included in the platform. Okay, so research and news. All right, to be honest with you, everybody who is doing the news, they've got their own agenda going on. And I like to call it telenovelas and melodramas because a lot of it is not real at all. You need to do your own work. You need to understand the technical analysis and also, you know, buy on the rumors, sell on the news. This is also very true. So you need to stay away from a lot of white noise. And quite frankly, the majority of, you know, Fox, CNBC, I think, CNN, um, even like the money that, what is that Kramer show, Mad Money, they are all white noise, right? Because they have to have an agenda. They have to hear themselves speak. Ignore it. Ignore the majority of it, right? Do your own research. Do your own work, but do it correctly, right? Don't just follow along and listen to, you know, these pundits talk just because they're ready to sell or short the market. Okay, so I know that everybody in this room who has day traded at one point or another has gone through this trigger happiness. Yes, this is a thing. And I was completely victim to this thing. It is literally being in and out of trades all day long or whatever amount of time you're sitting in front because we have this limited belief that you have to be in and out all the time. On the contrary, the more not in the market you are, the more of a chance you are going to make better money, right? The more of a pro trader I became and the more I spoke to real pro traders who do this as a living, they take one, two, maybe three trades per day at most. Okay. Unfortunately, as much as I hate this analogy, but think of big game hunters. They don't go out shooting at every single bunny and little crickets on out there. They wait for the big game. That's how they really come in with the highest rewards, right? It's the same thing for day trading. I always say the most radical way to trade is conservatively, right? Because that's what's going to give you the sustainability. When you're in and out of trades nonstop, that's aggressive, pointless behavior. And small profits daily bring you big profits yearly. So you want to, the goal is consistency. It is not just shooting your blank at, you know, being trigger happy. Another very important thing, FOMAT, fear of missing a trade. I'm sure you guys have heard of FOMO, fear of missing out. So fear of missing a trade, I coined this word FOMAT because it is a real thing. And what happens when we're fear of missing a trade? That's when we become emotional traders. We start to chase trades. We get into the wrong trades. We start to revenge trades. There's all these things and that is 100% emotional and you never want to be that emotional when you are trading because that is a guaranteed way to lose all your money. All right, so let's talk about what to trade. Remember what I began saying in the beginning? Choose your one, your one instrument and master it, right? Just like Liberace, love him or hate him. I don't care, but we all know who he is. We all know that he mastered the piano. He could probably have sat down and played the flute and the harpsichord just as great, right? But he did. He chose to stick to what he was good at. Find what you're good at and then move on. Don't try many different things. You will lose. Okay, so before we hop in and understand them all, let's really break this down. Forex, currencies, great. If you want to do currencies, super. Remember, how are currencies? What is Forex all about? It is about pairs. Do you really want to go into too many different pairs? No, because what happens with currency? It's all about what's going on in the governments, right? And one day, one egomaniac could have a bad thing going on with the other egomaniac. And I guarantee you right now, if you go back and look at the fluctuations, it usually stems from political weirdness, right? 
Anyways, so you have to understand, and if you're going to go with a Forex, choose one or two pairs. Don't go crazy with many more. Equities. I, when I ask, what do people trade? People are like stocks. There are over 5,000 stocks on the U.S. market alone. When you say stocks, I question if you're doing okay, right? Because it, you can't just do stocks. It's not possible. So if you want to be a pro trader in the equities market, you have to do, you have to really niche it down. Sectors. I know quite a lot of people that are doing really well in sectors. What is that? Pharmaceuticals, tech, entertainment. Those are sectors. This way you can really focus on the sector and maybe do different ones there. Or maybe go with the big caps. Maybe go with the small caps. Maybe do penny stocks. I don't, I don't recommend penny stocks in general. But yeah, so I don't recommend that in general anyways. But if you do, understand it because also really understand that there are not a lot of brokers that work with penny stocks. And you know what? I know a lot of people that are doing super well trading one stock at a time. Tesla, they only use Tesla, Facebook, Microsoft, Apple, whatever, but they love it. They know it, they understand it and they work with it, okay? So again, if you're gonna come out and be a pro, next time I say, what do you trade? Don't say stocks, be like, I trade the pharmaceutical sector. I love Apple, you know, understand which one. All right, future. Somebody said ES, which is awesome because ES is an instrument of the futures market. I too am an ES mini trader. But I hear people say futures. What is futures? Do you realize futures is commodities? What is commodities? It's wheat, soy, crude, gold, and the indexes. So you can't say futures, right? Because it's too broad. Again, narrow it down. Choose what you want and master it. Options, the same thing. I'm not an options trader, but you got to really focus on what you are going to be trading. And crypto. I've noticed quite a few people are saying crypto. So what does that mean, crypto? First of all, I hear a lot of people say crypto and they immediately think it's Bitcoin. It's not. Crypto is 6,000 projects and altcoins, right? So if you want to do well in crypto, I know crypto is a very sexy word. But to be a pro, what do you want to do in crypto? Are you going for the altcoins? Are you going for Bitcoin? Are you going for different projects? Are you, go are you leveraging? Are so there are so many things. So you really need to narrow that down. And once you narrow it down, I can guarantee you guys, you will start to really see a difference in what you are doing. Guarantee that for sure. Okay. You love the NQ, but you don't think it loves you back. That might only be because, because you might not have a solid strategy for it. Once you have a solid strategy for it, you'll be surprised how much it starts to love you back. Now, I want to do a really quick demystification of brokers and margin accounts, because pretty much the first thing I get asked is, which broker should I go with? When you want to become a medical student, are you already looking for the location that you want to open up your, your medical office? No. Think of a broker is where that money exchange goes. Before you come up with a broker, you first need to do all the other work. Because if you're a futures trader, you don't want to be with a broker that handles only equities or crypto, right? You're not going to get anything good from them. Their feed is probably not that going to be that good. Their commissions are probably going to suck. So you need to first understand what you want to trade. And then you need to go and find the correct broker for that. Because if you don't, you're going to be really missing out. And I've also brought up margin accounts. I literally call margin accounts loan sharking. Why? What is a margin account? It is a broker telling you that they are giving you this huge benefit, this huge feature. If you have such and such amount of money, they will give you this much more lending money. Meaning if you lose it all, here's more money that you lose. But guess what? You're going to now have to pay it back with interest. And if you don't, they come and get your house. Don't do margin accounts. They are not obligatory. They are not mandatory. You can tell them I don't want one easily. And then you're in control of what you can lose and what you have. And make sure you get the right broker that works with the right instrument. Okay? Oops. Oh, all right. Understanding commissions, live feeds, and quotes. Like I said before, if you are crypto and all of a sudden you are on let's say what tasty trades or tasty works which is an options platform and i know they kind of expanded to crypto they're terrible for crypto they only have 
have like 10 projects there. Why would you want to do that? Why not go to the right place for crypto, Kraken, Coinbase, Binance? I mean, these are, that's what their specialties are. They give you the best rate. What if you want to do futures? Then go with a futures broker. They give you the best commissions. And on top of that, feed. What is feed? Feed is your gasoline. You cannot have a car if you do not have the feed. You cannot have good feed if you're working with a crypto exchange when you're trading futures, right? It's not going to be that great. It's not going to be on time. So you need to really get in it. And what does that go back to? Stemming to understanding the instrument that you want to trade. Now, I keep on talking about platforms, right? So platforms, you cannot trade without it. You need to have a really good software. And a lot of times platforms are not from the broker, but you need to find the broker that works with the platform you will want to be on so that you trade right off of it, right? There are so many today. Thinkorswim, TradingView, Sierra Charts, MetaStocks, NinjaTrader. Find the good ones and then work with it, right? But you have to have a trading software. You can't just be on uh, Robinhood or Webbull or whatever, thinking that you're going to become a pro day trader. No, that's a joke, right? You cannot be a Formula One driver in a minivan. I'll say that again. Trading lingo. You know, it's amazing the amount of people that are trading, quote unquote, live, trading live, and they don't even understand the trading, uh, understanding lingo, right? It's you literally getting into the car and me telling you to back it up and you have no idea, but you want to take it out on the highway. Crazy. So let's just go over this really quickly because the second you really understand the basics, you'll again take it to the next notch. Intraday trading. Guys, what is intraday trading? It's literally you're in and out of each position in the same day. That's it. It's not swing trading. That means you're in it overnight or more. It's not investing because that's longer term. Why is this also important? Because if you're day trading, do you really need to look at a four-day chart? Why would you care about that? You need to be in the amount of time that you're looking at. And if you're an intraday trader, you want to do one day, but chances are you should probably be looking at a one hour, one minute, five minute chart. Okay. Bull market. What is that? Market going up. Market trending up bear market, market going down, market trending down. And there are three trends. So whenever you hear people say there are trends, there are only three. There are no other than three. There is the upward trend, the downward trend, and the sideways trend. And I like to call the sideways trend the, en the trader's worst enemy because that's where we end up losing the majority of our money, right? And you do not want to be on the wrong, in the wrong trend, okay? Now, Let's talk about real things, real stuff. Profit target. Okay, what is the profit target? It is really important to tell the market because when you're a day trader, what you want to get in as your target as well as your risk management, right? Yeah, you're going to lose everything if you have a mental ego stop in place. Let me tell you right now, it never works. I had many mental stops. They never work. You need to have the real deal put in. The same with the target profit. Why? Because here is, this is where our worst enemies, our worst parts of us come out, our demons. When we don't set a target, even though we have a mental target, we start to see it hit that target. And all of a sudden, wait, 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 the market's continuing in that direction. We take the target away. And guess what? Greed gets you every time. Boom. It turns on you. Stop, it takes out all your money. If you don't have a risk in place, what are you doing with the risk? You're telling the market, you know what? I am only going to put in this amount of money to lose on this trade. If it doesn't work, I'm okay with it. I'm moving on to the next valid trade. But when you remove it, sky's the limit, man. It will empty out your account and you won't even have a chance to catch it. So you need to be on top of it. You need to have your profit in place and you need to have your risk in place. Charts, I said this a thousand times. It is the holy grail for traders, right? You need to have the proper vehicle, the proper charts, okay? You have to do that. This is probably your one and only real investment that you will be doing for your trading because when you get a good platform, that's where you get all your indicators for free. You do not need to buy anything more. You are not going to be making more money by buying the next shiny object, okay? Indicators, like I said a thousand times, indicators, they come with charting platforms. I personally only use two indicators. I use the EMA lines and the MACDs. At one point, I used 
10 indicators. I was horrible. I mean, I was literally just stressed out. It was horrendous. Okay. Now, when you're going to be putting in your indicators, I know everybody wants to be like, you know, I love the way people throw out all these cool indicator names. And then I ask them what they do for them. And they're like, well, I don't really know. Ask yourself, what good is each indicator doing for you? And if you cannot come up with the correct answer, maybe that indicator isn't what you need. Okay. Like I said before, trending markets. There is the up market, and the down market, the sideways market. So when you hear people say trending, you do not want to think only up because there's three. Okay. You need to understand that. So when you hear people say the trend is your friend, sideways is never your friend, but the downtrend could be your friend and the uptrend could be your friend. We don't care if the market is going up or down because we'll be winning either way. Now, buying, going long. Amazing how many people don't understand that you could buy and go long. It's going up. What does that mean? It means that you are entering at a lower price point, exiting at a higher price point and taking the target in between. That's what you would say. I'm going long, I'm buying. Selling, going short is the opposite. It's when you're entering at a higher price point, exiting at a lower price point, meaning you take the profit in between. If you don't know what the short is, if you don't know what a buy is, don't give the money to the markets until you do understand. Okay, now, super important. We are all sitting in this room and I can guarantee that you guys are all here to want to learn how to be a pro trader. I don't know if you're into swing trading or investing, but even if you're swing trading, investing not so much, but I'm going to focus on mainly day trading and swing trading. You need to be in control. When you go in as a market entry, you're showing the market that you have no idea what you're doing. And this kind of looks good. So maybe I should just get in right now. No, immediately the market knows, amateur, I am going to break you. You have to have a limit order. You need to have your order waiting. You need to tell the market, this is what I want my setup to be. And it's got to be entered here. I'm not going in any other way. That's you showing control. Another thing, if you do a market entry, you immediately have slippage. What is slippage? It means that the market immediately takes some money away from you because they know you're an amateur right? And it could be up to 25% of what you eventually want to make from that trade. So limit orders, guys, they are your only way of doing it. That goes with a stop limit. It's literally the risk management. You immediately are telling where you want to be stopped out. Okay. This is where I, I'm not giving you any more money than this amount that I am putting on the table. That is a stop limit. You cannot do a market entry stop out because one, chances are you'll miss where you wanted to originally do a stop. Two, slippage. They're going to take 25% of your place in, the, in as well. So be in control, guys. And I talk about technical analysis a lot. You've heard me say it over and over and over again. Technical analysis is the only way for me to become really good at day trading, right? It's all about understanding the market language. What is that? That is through indicators, through areas, divergences, reversal patterns, understanding price action. Okay, I just mentioned areas, okay? And there are two very specific areas in the market, the resistance area and the support area. If you guys don't know what those are, and if you do not have them drawn in on every single one of your charts, stop right now because this is your safety gear, right? So when you are a Formula One driver, you know that there are, you know, 25% chance that you could have a fatality or an accident, right? So what do those guys do when they get into the car? They have their fireproof uniforms on. They have their masks on. They put on their seat belts, right? Areas, those are our protective safety gears. Does that make sense? Do you guys understand that? What are they? What is a resistance area? It is the ceiling of the market. It is where the market hits it over three, four, or more times every time, okay? So when you have that, what does that mean? It means that the market is respecting that area. And you as the trader, we respect what the market respects. But if you don't have this drawn in and you're going in and you're getting stopped out, that's because you are not doing the basics. What is a support area? It is the floor of the market. It is the floor of the market. It's where the market hits it over and over and over and over again. 
Okay, you need to have these drawn in. You cannot have these mental. And any platform you use gives you free drawing tools, even if it's just a, a bar. As long as you're looking at it, that's all you need. Reversal patterns. I call these my telltale signs. These are my absolute favorites, and I do not do anything without reversal patterns. What are reversal patterns? Double tops, triple tops, head and shoulders, double bottoms, triple bottoms, and head and shoulders going down. So what are these? They are not telling you that the market is about to reverse. What it is telling you is that there is a very high potential that it will reverse, okay? Very high potential that is going to reverse. Does that make sense to you guys? You have to use reversal patterns. They are free and they can be done on any market as long as you have the price action. It is amazing. Divergence. I love divergence. What is divergence? So as I mentioned earlier, I use the MACDs with my price action. So as you can see here, the price action is very distinctly telling you it's moving up, yet my MACDs are showing me that there is weakness. It is heading down. So when I see that, to me, it's telling me, you know what? Chill out, sit out, because the market right now is about to do something. It could either reverse or it could go into a sideways movement, which is indecision. Take a seat back and wait until it gives you confirmation and strength. Okay, now I want to put all this together. So again, remember, guys, making of a day trader dot com. Get your cheat sheet for trading, making of a day trader dot com. Now, how do we put all of this into the markets, right? Into what the charts are telling us. So here we have an obvious upward moving market. And what did I do? I drew in a resistance area, right? Because in, in the live market, we don't see what's about to happen. And we all have heard about breakout trades. We know that they are some of the most powerful trades out there, correct? So what do we get from this? We are seeing where there's a breakout. But if you don't have your, if you don't have your resistance area drawn in, you might miss it out altogether for several reasons. One, because you keep on losing money into putting it, thinking that that's not an area or pretending that you don't, you know, not knowing how to read it. And by then you just already lost the money or you maybe didn't have it drawn in and missed the breakout altogether, right? So this is understanding what this is all about. Understanding how it moves, right? So we have an upward market. Then we have a consolidation area that's sideways, that dreadful sideways market, which is indecision area which has absolutely no movement back and forth. It's the exhaustion pattern. You do not want to be anywhere near this market when you are looking at this, right? But then all of a sudden, boom, it breaks out and continues. You want to make sure that you hop in when it does. And you have to have this all drawn in. So the breakout trade is literally one of the most important trades there is, right? But if you miss all that, you will be missing out on everything else. So here is a really good understanding. Here is a strong, strong resistance area. Boom, it blew up. Look at the distance between my zero line and the MACDs and all of this area, right? This is showing me the market is flying up, flying. And I would be putting in my entry right here. I am telling the market, you know what? All right. You just gave me that positive move. I finally broke through. I am wanting to enter right here. And if it doesn't put, fill me on that entry, too bad. I'm not going to chase it. I'm not going to go for the FOMAT feeling of it, right? Because there's always another trade coming. But if you're not looking properly, if you're not looking at the MACDs, if you're not looking at the breakout, basic free stuff, guys. This is done on any good, strong software. All right, so remember, makingofadaytrader.com. Now, let's put a little bit of this into the live perspective right here. Okay, so this is my chart right here. Can you guys just give me a quick holler if you could see my chart so that I am 100% sure you guys are able to see my charts? Awesome. Okay, so I, like I said before, I trade the E-minis, right? This is my platform. I'm only on the ES. You have to make sure that you are on the correct contract for the ES as well. So here is today. So I look at, I personally have a 610 tick chart. What does that mean? I do not look at time charts. 
I look at tick charts. I really like to minimize my indicators. So I don't like to have a volume indicator because volume indicators are notoriously known to be really laggy. So I have a tick chart. As you can see here, I use candlesticks and right here is the six remaining. Each bar has 610 transactions in real time, right in front of me, happening in real time. Okay, so I get to see what is going on right here in front of me and being able to see the volatility that is going on because if it's super slow, chances are it's going to be a little bit boring, right? And it's not going to move as much. So as I open up my charts, I like to take a look at what's going on. Here is a pretty significant area altogether, right? Oops. We have a channel going on right here. We have a moving upward market with several consolidations. Consolidations are quite normal, guys. Okay, it is just part of the way the market moves, right? And it finally breaks through there. And we have this area right here. Moving up, okay, great. I would look for that breakout trade. Massive, massive strength of the MACDs. I have another channel forming right here. I don't touch anywhere. Massive, look at this massive divergence. Do you guys see here? Flat and look at here. What is it telling me? Stay out. This, do you really want to be in a market that is that ugly and uncertain? No, but I do want to be in a market when it breaks out and moves upward because that's when I have that confirmation. But if I don't have things drawn in, how am I going to know when it's happening, right? So this is how I use those basics. And these are easy to understand. And like I said earlier, the market speaks to us. It talks to us and you have to understand what it says. And once you understand what it says, you will be able to see it, understand it entirely different and work with it rather than constantly doubt yourself and wonder what is going on. That is part of that strategy. Okay. So this is how I view the market. I use just these two indicators, nothing more, the MACDs, and I have three EMA lines that I use and I use tick bars and I use the tick chart and that's it, okay? So I'm gonna continue now with the rest of this presentation. If you guys have any questions, this would be a great place to ask. Is your entry for going long based on where support meets previous resistance? No, here, so for instance, for instance, you would mean like here. No, so I use my EMA lines right here to tell me where I would be entering and I would be entering where it breaks out entirely. So I need to see a lot of confirmation, right? So I like to use my EMA lines. I like to have a little bit more structure. So this is where I would be entering Oops. right here where I have that understanding boom and move up so that I am telling the market, I want to take it off the EMA line. I do not only work with resistance and support areas. I have other things that I look at as well, but if you do not have your support and resistance areas drawn in, you're going to end up losing money because you're constantly going to be going where the market is respecting a different area. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay. So let's continue here. Now, guys, you have everything you need to take action. Everything, right? We have the YouTube channels, these live presentations, books. I mean, you name it. We have it, right? But the reality is, how do you know you are doing it right? How do you know if you're doing it right? Okay, that's the real question. Who is there to tell you if you're doing it right? Like, all of this is great. But the real question you're probably also asking yourself, is, how do I truly get started, right? Like, you've been maybe, like, going through all these different places maybe saying that they don't really let those instruments don't really love you and whatnot, but how do you really, really get started? So this isn't from beginners only that I get these questions. I get this from seasoned traders as well, who have been trading for years and still inconsistent with their money. They constantly ask me, what can I do to turn this around to be profitable and consistent? Sometimes, and the majority of times is lacking understanding of the basics. Everything pretty much what I went through can truly, truly be an incredible shift in everything you're doing with your trading, right? The little things. And I will go back to the car analogy over and over again because I am actually in a really great position. My 17-year-old son is learning how to drive a car. And he got in the car the first time 
and me and my, me and my husband are like, okay, you got to put your seatbelt on, make sure that you shift your gear into first, make sure that you remove the emergency brake, put your foot on the clutch and release the brake. And he is like, what, 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 what gear shift clutch? What? Because the car they have their own language. Do you guys remember when you first entered the car? Now you probably don't because it's so automatic for you. It's the same thing with day trading. You cannot drive the car if you don't even know where the accelerator and the brake is, right? And how about telling somebody who's never seen a car before, okay, put on your seatbelt, something that will literally save their life, but they don't know what it is. They have no idea where to look for it. You have to learn these things. Right, you. These are the absolute understanding of the basics, but they could save your life and they can completely elevate your driving. Everything else, you need to be in that driver's seat when you are also trading. Look, my sad truth is, I literally have spent over twenty thousand dollars on my trainings. No joke, I have done it all: live mentorships, one-on-ones, trading rooms, alert. I mean, you name it. And yet, years. For years, I was struggling and losing money because every time I was asking basic questions, which I didn't realize they were basic questions, I was constantly being treated as if though I knew I was supposed to be born with that information or completely ignored because nobody teaches you from the beginning. Nobody teaches you how to build the wall before you put in the window. Everybody's showing you how to put that window in, but not the reason why it will stay there. Okay. And literally this, eventually I ended up losing over five, almost $4,000 in five minutes because one thing I put in a mental stop, I wasn't taught about like really putting in those limits, all of that now. And what happened after that, when you have such a massive loss, I ended up quitting. I literally quit, but I bet you everybody in this room has been bit by the trading bug. And the problem with the trading bug is it never stops itching. And why is that? Because deep down inside, we know that we can do this. We totally know. So when I quit, I left like three or four months and I just could not stay away. I finally came back and I decided to get back to the basics. I cleared out. I had just my laptop. I literally threw out the, the other monitors. I went to two in the, well, first I went to just naked price action. And then I recognized that I need to have indicators because they really help. And I went to my two indicators and I just started to listen to the market. That's why I recognized that it actually spoke to us, right? And I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of coach John Wooden. He is, or was, he's not around anymore, a legendary coach for basketball, right? He was legendary. This man won 88 national, 88 champions and national in a row. 10 champion and CWA champions. I mean, this man was the best, right? And his entire philosophy was when in doubt, get back to the basics. This is him and his accolades, okay? And he literally trained the best of the best. I mean, total superstars. Yet every time he started the season, he would make sure to go to the basics. Why? He would teach them how to tie their shoelace, how to roll their socks, how to dribble the ball, because it does not matter how great you are if you if your shoelace unties, you twist your ankle or you get a blister, guess where you're going? You're going to be sitting on the sidelines. You need to get the basics down to accelerate and move on to the next level really, really successfully. And that's exactly what I like to do. So just for the pe people that are participants only today that are live, nobody else, I am offering my introductory course called Bootcamp for day trading. And you can do this off of any apparatus, iPhone, tablets, desktops, laptops, anywhere you could use it from anywhere. This is the next step. Either it's your first step or your next step. This is the step. What you get in the course. So first of all, understanding day trading, simplifying it completely. Platforms. I get people telling me all the time, they have no idea how to read their platform. They do not understand how to even press, how to get in or get out, yet they're putting money in this kind of platform. I go over 30 minute platform tutorial setup that you will not have to worry about this and you will have them up and running so that you can focus on what's really important. Understanding market anatomies, dissecting those markets, uptrending, sideways, downward, understanding the magic telltale signs, the reversal, and divergence is truly understanding it and being able to use it. Understanding what reversal patterns are about, understanding how to spot these areas, the support and resistance, divergences, 
also really understanding breakouts and how to avoid the fake out breakouts because they are real and they could really knock you out. All of this plus unlimited access to the curriculum. The value of all this is $1,600. All of that you're getting right away. Understanding day trading, simplifying it, the tutorials, all of the prequel framework, understanding by dissecting trade, everything. But remember what I asked you in the very beginning, how do you know you're doing it right? So let me share this with you. Why is it okay for, co for athletes to have coaches and not other people? I am offering with this special offer just to you guys, one a month, free, one-on-one -on -one unlimited mentorship with me. One-on-one -on -one so that you never have to say, am I doing it right? Because I am there fully supporting you. And the best for last, and again, this is only for people who are live here. I have a live tree chat room that it's me. It's not moderated by any hired help. It's me, 30 days live with me, implementing everything we're learning while we are trading in the live market. Total value is $2,600. But again, only for you guys, $97. $97, flat fee, no hidden cost. One time, $97, bootcamp, for daytrading.com. Go here right now. Bootcamp for daytrading.com. Bootcamp for daytrading.com. Guys, $97 is probably a third of a normal trade that a majority of people are losing on. $97 and you get everything that I just said. Okay? And don't take my word for it. I have students all over the world. So people, you can do this from anywhere in the world. That's the beauty of trading. Michelle said that the feedback of the homework is invaluable and working with Marina, which the feedback in all clips, best money I ever spent. Course is amazing. I needed this to back me up. Marina is an amazing teacher. Great course, dear experience in this area, non-techie, non-math, stay-at-home mom, and I'm really catching on. Guys, join today. Normally, this course is $297, but for you today, it's $97. 66% off the regular price. Bootcamp for daytrading.com. Now here's the thing. Because of my mentorship, that one-on-one, -on -one, I could only take 25 new students. Only 25 new students. So get it right now. And honestly, you can start with 59 bucks. Literally, you can get started right now. So bootcamp for daytrading.com. Go here right now. Bootcamp for daytrading.com. All right, guys, remember, $97, one-time fee, nothing else, $97, you get one month of working unlimited mentorship with me, so you never have to question, am I doing this right? Fully understanding all the breakouts. I help you with your platform setup, which I know that a lot of people struggle with. And on top of that, you get to be in the live chat room with me, which is more time, and with a really great knit community of live traders that are live, successful, all helping one another as well. $97, bootcamp for daytrading.com. Go here right now, bootcamp for daytrading.com. And let me know if you guys have any other questions or anything else. I would love to help you. You tell me, and I am here to help. So, bootcamp for daytrading.com. Do we still access after one month? Yes, you could definitely continue accessing. Absolutely. So again, go live. You'll find out. You'll see if you like it and work with me. And again, you have the one month working with me one-on-one. -on -one. $97, guys. I'm not going to you know, beat around the bush, but we all know that we, we put up a lot more for an actual trade. And this is the, all the education working with me and being in the live chat room. So you could actually see how I take live trades as well while talking and listening and understanding and implementing. So again, guys, bootcamp for daytrading.com. I'm super excited to work with you and I'm always available. So you guys could just, you could even write me right now if you want the trader chick at gmail.com and we could chat. And I hope to see you inside the course, bootcamp for daytrading.com. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. And David, thank you again for having me. I really appreciate you guys taking your time and spending with us. Time is the most 
precious commodity we have, right? And the fact that you spent it here with me, I really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody.